Give me the bottle. Okay. I have here a Kilcarran heavily peated. This whiskey just came out yesterday. We're at Milroy's here in Soho, and I'm gonna taste it. it. Came out just yesterday. And I have a dram of it right here. You're gonna have a little taste. This video is gonna go up immediately after we finish the video. It's gonna be an exclusive video. And this will be the first time anyone's ever tried this on the internet because the 8 and the 12 are both very well known across the internet but the heavily peated is something that it's only 33 pounds in the UK you tell them Jason yep 33 pounds new release from the Glengyle Distillery same owners of Springbank JNA Mitchell from Campbelltown and we're gonna get a food quig exclusive you know, right away the, the peat is sweet. The peat is sweet. Thank you. Along with the peat, there's like a grassy, it's like a haystack. And sweet. It's like fermenting grass. This is completely different from an Isla where you get that, that whole, um, oh man. Earthiness. This is not earthy at all. This is, this is sweet. <laughs> sweet and smoky. That's mostly what I'm getting on the nose. If there are any fruity notes or anything under there, that would be hiding underneath the smoke. Yeah, they're kind of masked by the initial flavors that are quite dominant. This would have to open up for a while, and I don't think we have time for that. Because they're going to close up in a little while. So That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. So, and we don't have any water to put in there. But anyway, just let me... Uh... Andy, if you'd like some water, it's on its way. Oh, water. Thank you, Rob. I don't usually... Okay. You know what the bottle looks like, right? Yep. Yeah, everyone's seen the bottle. They've seen that. Now, this is a very small sample. So I'm just going to go one drop. Wait, i got to taste it first. Yeah, give it a neat and then we'll try it again after we put some more. One tiny little sip neat. Oh, what is the percentage of this? You're going to have to... 59.3% uh, alcohol by volume. So we're talking about... Right? Car strength, non-chill filtered, natural color. And it's got a UK on the label right here, rather than anything else. So I guess taxes have been paid on it. £9.25 a bottle. £9.25 a bottle. That's almost 20 bucks. That's more than 20 bucks Canadian. Okay. <laughs> mm. Wow. <laughs> it's sweet. It's free if you like one. Sweet and peaty. It's tingling on the tip of my tongue. I can already predict that the finish is long. <laughs> Oh, wait a second. Second, I gotta have a second. No, no. With this kind of alcohol by volume, you gotta take very small sips, and I don't have that much. Um, I'm getting a woody note. There's quite a bit of a woody note happening here. Uh, door planings. On the palate, I'm getting a lot of wood, which I didn't get on the nose. Now, I think maybe I'll add a tiny little drop, just a drop, one drop. Oh, how you look best? Oh, so delicate. <laughs> that was brilliant. You gotta have that fine touch, you know? Just yeah. Okay. The finesse. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. Um... So Andy, you've tried you've tried the couple other Kilcarens, right? You've tried that. You just recently I saw the review of the twelve. Yeah, that was over a month ago when I had that, and I thought I'd need to let that open up a little bit. I think it's one thing with all Kilcarens there's a little trend of you just need that little bit of time. Mm -hmm. But water can always step in for time. Yeah. If you want to hurry up time, you just add water. And that will sort of do the same job as time. Uh, that's taken, the water has taken some of the sweetness out. And taken some of the smoke out. 
And now I'm getting, I'm getting, oh, yes. Nice to meet you too. Now I'm getting, uh, I'm starting to get something a, a little bit more fruity. Yeah, food Quick's also getting recognized all over London today, so it's. <laughs> a little more fruity. Yeah, yeah. If you add a little bit of water, it just takes away the smoke and it takes away a lot of the. Um, a lot of the sweetness. The smoke and sweetness are moving aside. Getting a little bit of a... Oh. Yeah, your hazelnut pants? It's, it's a weird combination of barbecue sauce and peaches. If you can imagine that. Not getting a lot of citrus. Uh, okay. This is a quickie because it's just a small. Yes. Not so good. Isn't it? <laughs> I'm, I'm still working. On, I think it needs time and water. Yeah, but only three years old, so I think it's a work in progress. Yes. It is a work in progress. I concur. Yeah. That's the one right there. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> barbecue sauce, the kind that you take with a brush and you put it on your your steak when it's on the barbecue. Oh. But yeah, it needs time. It's it's promising, very promising. It's got a lot going for it. I fear that it would be much too oaky if you put it in, if you left it to age much longer. Um, so far, so good. I'm not going to rate it. I never rate it. Uh, it's. Uh, but it needs some time. It needs some time, but it's a good way to cap off the night because I've had lots of whiskeys and this one's like what almost 60 percent. So uh, it's it's the end of the night. So yeah. I'm getting a little bit of rubber on the nose now. That it's starting to evolve, that means. Yeah. It's evolving. It's always evolving. I'm going to get other things as I go. But we'll save that for the revisit. Yeah, I think we're done. Alright, Slanja, food quick. Slanja,